May 5, Third Sunday of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Jesus revealed Himself again to His disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed Himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he talked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish in it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord Simon Peter, Fisherman and Shepherd The work of the apostles as commissioned by Jesus involves two things. To call people to believe and then to nurture this faith. This is expressed in two ways, to be fishers of men and to feed the ship. In the case of Simon Peter, in the beginning he is told by Jesus, Do not be afraid, from now on you will be catching men. And in today's gospel, after his threefold confession of love before the risen Jesus, Simon is told, Tend my sheep. 
Jesus the Good Shepherd commissions Peter to feed Jesus' lambs and tend Jesus' flock. Peter should never forget that the flock's owner is Jesus and that he is only the caretaker. As Good Shepherd, Jesus lays down his life for the sheep. The evangelist then indicates that Peter will die in a manner fitting for a shepherd in the service of Jesus. This mandate of shepherding given to Peter is extended to other shepherds in the community. The apostolic tradition will later pass on this image of the shepherd who is feeding the flock as a metaphor for Christian leadership.